Hello, this is uh, Chase Swift, and this is going to be uh, a video series that I'm going to be doing um, over the next oh, week or so, talking about five tools that you can use for free that will significantly help you in your business no matter what business you have, and that can also be used for personal aspects as well. And the first one we're going to look at is, well, they're all from Google. The first one is Google Drive. Now, you'll have to have a Gmail or a Google account or maybe YouTube, one of the one of those. Um, and I've already logged in, you can see here, and I have a Gmail account. And with that Gmail account, I can actually use Google Drive. Now, Google Drive, isn't that cool what the Rubik's Cube is doing? Um, Google Drive is under these little apps right here. It's a really easy way once you're already logged in. And you can just go straight down to Google Drive and just click there and that'll launch your Google Drive. Now I've been using Google Drive for quite some time and you'll be able to uh, use what I teach you uh, right away because it's free. Okay. Now on the left hand side is this red button and you'll either most likely I think you'll create a lot of documents and presentations and such what I'm going to show you um, and you can also upload content so if you have a word doc or if you have a JPEG or a picture or a presentation like a PowerPoint you can upload those right into your Google Drive now in this um, session on this uh, topic I'm going to break down Google Drive and I'm going to talk about the drawing tool which is really awesome here and so all you have to do is click drawing on create and, and now you're in a untitled drawing and this is really cool because you can create images or content very easily very professionally too and so let me show you what I'm talking about uh, what I want to insert is basically a, a little bit of text so I'll use a text box first okay now it doesn't look like much happens but what you have is a cursor that is a crosshairs and then you can just drag um, draw a box and that will kind of define the area where you're going to want to put your text okay so once you release then your cursor will be blinking in here and it'll be ready for you to type the text so I'm just going to type sample text here okay now that's a little small so obviously you can select the text and then you can go to the size and change the font size um, you kinda have to guess a little bit uh, let's go 60 okay and then there is some centering uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see where that is ah, right over here so it's on the left justified you can go to center right there you can also center it top to bottom okay a slight adjustment there so sample text there now if you ever want to uh, if you click out of that element it'll just go away if you click back in the element you can uh, modify that and you can also change colors and all that good stuff so let me just change the color to something really there okay something nice okay so you have some sample text now notice the background is these uh, it's this checkbox pattern whatever uh, checkerboard pattern and that means there's nothing really there it's it's really just blank area blank content uh, let me bring in a I'm gonna insert a, a shape okay there's really a lot of cool little shapes squares and all sorts of stuff and this one is kind of fun so I'm gonna put the smiley face now again nothing really happens but you get the crosshairs and then you click and drag and you begin to draw the smiley face now if you want it perfectly centered uh, there are some tools that help you do that but if you just hold down the shift key it'll pop right into place and it'll be perfectly uh, oriented so it's uh, not skewed or anything like that so I'm just going to take that and uh, if you needed to you can adjust it but that's not adjusting it in perspective so I'm gonna undo that and you can always go to undo and redo up here if you make a mistake now if I want to make it bigger I could hold down the shift key 
and my cat's uh, meowing at me if you may you may hear that but anyway now I've still got it larger uh, and I can move it around now you saw that red horizontal line that's telling me that it's uh, horizontally spaced just right and then the vertical red line will tell me that it's uh, oriented in the middle of the page vertically okay so that's really kind of handy now I might just want to change the color of the uh, is the shape there the smiley face and maybe I'll go with something like that okay um, and then once I'm done with it I can click outside and <clears throat> let's go ahead and insert one more shape now there's a lot of other things you can do tables and you could get really creative I'm not going to cover all the options here but let's just do one more arrow and let's do something kind of fun like that so again you get the crosshair and then you just click and drag and you can make the arrow longer to the right if you want or drag down to the bottom make it appear taller or do a, a little bit of both okay kind of going directly uh, you know at a 45 degree angle okay now this one is on top of the smiley face it's the last one you can also change the uh, the order and you can bring you can send it to the back and that way the smiley face is on top of the arrow okay just by going to arrange order and you can bring it to the front whatever selected is what it's going to respond to and let's just add some color there maybe a, kind of a nice blue okay so here is you know let's pretend that you have some graphic that you want to make and uh, once it's sized, you can move it all over the place. But I'm just I'm going to have it overlap because I want to show something really cool uh, in just a moment. So here I am in Google Drawing on my Google Documents. I can uh, add text. I can color it. I can even you know change the fonts. Um, there's a lot of fonts here. Let's just try Cambria. I have no idea. That looks fine. Okay. So you can do all that. It's just like a Word document type thing where you can create stuff. The really cool thing though is this is transparent. Uh, the background is really not white or anything. It's nothing. Okay. So uh, what, it, what you should do after this is probably save it. Right now it's called Untitled Drawing. What I'm going to title it is just click on here once to name it. And I'll just call it Sample text drawing okay that's gonna be fine so I'll click OK now it's already been saved and you can see the changes have been saved in Drive and literally every every everything you do is literally saved within seconds okay it's really handy now there's a lot of stuff that I didn't cover but if you get in here and play around I think you'll you'll love it and you'll figure out it's pretty intuitive but what I'm going to do right now is let's pretend I have a project that I need a, a transparent PNG file, which is a file that's transparent. I can download this file as a PNG right there. Now, I can also download it as a JPEG, but I want to show you what you can do with a PNG image, which is a .png. It saves it as transparent. So I'm going to go ahead and download this as a PNG file. Right now on my browser, it's uh, downloaded. Okay, now I'm going to open up my uh, file, uh, my browser system, and I'm going to go to downloads. Now it will have been saved uh, with the file name. Okay, that I saved it on um, Google Drive. There it is, sample text drawing. Now it looks like it has a white background, but that's just because the operating system doesn't know what to do with transparency okay what I'm going to do now is uh, let me just go ahead and copy that I'm going to just right click and choose copy okay and then I'm going to go to a layout program this is Keynote which has a gradated background and I'm going to paste that in there now look at that now isn't that cool no matter what you do with the background however you change the background uh, it's transparent so and, and you can create really cool stuff when it's transparent um, now if it's just a, a white background you'll never know that but if it's uh, got a gradient or a different background to it transparent pixels will show through 
And can you imagine the creativity you have now because you can create transparent pixels, okay? Now you could also have put this right on a Google Drive presentation, but I just wanted to show something that's maybe a little bit different uh, than that. And we'll, we'll cover more in presentations what you can do. Now I do want to show the difference of what a PNG file is. So I have a, uh, it's a picture of a ladder, it doesn't make any sense really, but what I'm going to do is drag this off and show you that it's not transparent. It's got a white background. Okay, so that kind of kills the coolness of transparency because we're seeing the white background uh, of the image that's, that's not transparent. So uh, it just kind of shows you the difference between a JPEG with a non-transparent background, and I'll delete it, and then we have this beautiful PNG file that I was able to create for free on Google Drive in the um, uh, drawing program, okay? So I'm going to give you some more ideas, some more uh, cool ideas on uh, what to do and, and, and things like that, but... Uh, Google Drive is awesome and I'm going to go right back to the main Google Drive and I'll just show you it saves all your folders and all your files if I really scroll down okay here's my sample actually I, ha I did one earlier but uh, here's the sample text drawing and so you just click on that and you're right back where you left okay and I had made another one too so um, you're able to create as many as you, as you want really so here's a PNG image that I was playing with uh, just before the, this you know recording okay so same idea I was just playing around with uh, four you know the different uh, shapes and sample text and stuff like that and of course you can overlap stuff and play around and you know do some really cool things some you know a logo a uh, whatever you want and uh, you can always play with the uh, arrangement of that and uh, you just whatever you see is what you'll get alright so I hope you enjoyed this uh, video series go check out Google Drive and all you have to do is sign up for Google you know a Gmail account whatever check for the Google Apps right under these uh, these little dots here and then just go right to Google Drive Hope you enjoyed this video. Look forward to more tips uh, and tricks for using these uh, Google tools that are absolutely free. This is Chase Swift. Have a great day.